William, this video is for you. We are going to see how to solve these log equations. And let me show you the steps right here first. I will show you three steps. What you see, what you do, and what you get to solve a log equation. Ideally speaking, we want to isolate the log on one side of the equation, and preferably on the left-hand side. If we see that we have log base b, and the x is inside of the logarithm. And if the right-hand side is equal to any number, you can have any number on the right-hand side. Zero is OK. Negative numbers is OK. Fractions OK. If this is what we see, then this is what we do. We pretend both sides are exponents. And what we do is we do b to that power, and we do b to that power on each side. And then what you'll get is this b to that power, the b and log b will cancel each other out, and you will just have x by itself. And then we have to work out b to that whatever power that is right here on the right-hand side. After we do that, we should be able to get rid of the logarithms from the equation, and this should be easy, and it should be automatic from there. Let me show you. Let's look at the first one. Here we have log base 3 of x is equal to negative 2. This is negative 2, but I can have it to be any number. Okay, so there's no special cases yet. So don't worry too much about the negative or the fraction. Then we just do the following. This is a log equation, the x is inside, right? So we pretend this is the exponent, and this is also an exponent. The base is 3, so we do 3 to that power, and we also do 3 to that power, and you can demonstrate the cancellation like this. This and that will cancel, and you can will get x by itself, and then you have to work out 3 to the negative 2 power. This is x by itself already, because that was the things inside, right? And now we just have to work out 3 to the negative 2 power, and what's that? This is the same as 1 over, when you have negative exponent, it means we have 1 over 3 to the positive 2 power. And then we can just work this out. 3 times 3 on the bottom is 9, so altogether it's 1 over 9. So we can say x is equal to 1 over 9 for the answer, for the first one. For the second one, very similar because we have log base 2. And you see the log part is by itself on the left hand side already. And then we have 3 minus x in the parentheses. And then we have the equal to the 5 on the right hand side, like this. Then we just do 2 to this power and 2 to that power, 2 and this cancel, and you get 3 minus x is equal to 2 to the fifth power. See, this is exactly what we're doing right here. This is the number what worked out. 2 to the fifth power, be sure you do 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And altogether, we get 32. So this is 3 minus x is equal to 32. And then let's subtract 3 on both sides, so we'll get negative x is equal to 29. But that's not the answer yet. We have to divide both sides by negative 1. We have to get the positive x by itself, right? So we will end up x is equal to 29 divided by negative 1 is negative 29. And this is indeed the answer. I'm going to make a remark at the end of this video, but this is the answer. So, moving on to number 3 right here, we have log base 9, inside is 2x minus 7, and on the right hand side we have a fraction 1 half. We'll do this, so we do the base which is 9, 9 to this power, and 9 to this power. 9 and log 9 cancel out, and we will just have the 2x minus 7, and this time we have 9 to the 1 half power. And I will have to ask you now, what does the 1 half power mean? The 1 half power, it means we take the square root, right? This is the thing that you have to remember. This is what it means right here. Okay, this is what we have to work out. Okay? We will have 2x minus 7 is equal to the square root of 9, which is 3. And then we can continue. This is just the equation that we can solve, right? 2x minus 7 is equal to 3. Let's add the 7 on both sides. So we got 2x is equal to 10. And then divide by 2 on both sides, we get x is equal to 5. And we are done again. Cool, huh? Next one. ln of x is equal to 3. And now you may be thinking that I'm lying to you. So, okay, this is ln, and I'll talk about the log functions. What can I do with this? 
Well, if you would like, you can make a change first. Ln is the same as log base e, and the inside is x, and then this is equal to 3. If you make this change, then you see that this is exactly this all over again. This time the base is e, so we do e to this power, and we do e to that power, e and log base e. You could have done it in the beginning right here. You know, but I don't want to point it out. Uh, these three steps. Anyways, e to this power, e to that power, we get x by itself, and this is equal to e to the third power. And you can leave this, and this will be called the exact answer. Okay, if you leave the answer as e to the third power, that's totally fine as the exact answer. But once in a while, you may want to get the approximation, and you just have to use a calculator, punch this onto your calculator, you should end up approximately 20.086. And perhaps I'll box this for the answer, because I feel like we're doing more work with this right here rather than just leave the answer as e to the third power. But it depends on the uh, teacher though, to see if they want to use the exact answer or the approximation. All right, so here is the remark I want to make. As you can see right here, we end up with x is equal to negative 27. And then we have talked about that when we have log of any base, if the inside turn out to be negative, right? If the inside is negative, or if the inside is zero, this is bad. This is no good. This is undefined. When we have x is equal to negative 29, you have to be suspicious. Is this a good enough answer? In this case, it's OK. When you have negative 29 in this case, plug this into the original equation, and let me do that right here. I'm checking for number 2. We will have a log base 2 of 3 minus x. So let me put down 3 minus and the x. Now we found is negative 29. And do we end up with positive 5? So I'm just checking the answer for you, right? Well, let's see, inside here we will have log base 2, 3 minus minus, so it becomes plus, 3 plus 29 is 32, and is this equal to 5, and this is correct, okay? And you see that, even though x was negative, but once we plug this, this x value into the original equation, the inside, we have the negative, negative, it ends up to be a positive, right? This is everything all okay after all. Sometimes when you are solving a log equation, you have to check the answer because sometimes we'll get fake answers. But do not discriminate negative numbers for the answers. You just have to plug in and really do the work for that. All right? And watch the next video. I will show you more examples.